Hey booze! In this video, I give commentary based on my opinion. Nothing is to be taken as factual. We are just here to have conversation. We don't expose and we don't sip tea on this channel. I'm giving you real talk straight, no chaser. Let's see if you can handle it. Cause I'm a boss. I didn't think for you to be proud of her. Of course you have. You are marrying a man who can support you. I don't know what to say, y'all. Okay. First of all, I want to say this. I was on my platform and I was defending Kayla Nicole. I did a video about her and Travis Kelsey. But if I'm being honest, I regret it. <laughs> I believe Kayla is a mean girl now. I believe she's a mean girl. I regret it. I also think she's messy. She is messy as hell. And I'm going to get into why I believe that. Uh, let me see if I can find the video. Oh, you know what? I think it's... I regret it. I'm just being honest. Uh, Kayla, she give me the type of energy where she throw rocks and then she hide her hand. That's why. And she's messy. And I'm going to get into why. Okay, I think it's this one. Or is it? This thing you've done in the relationship. This is one of my, we weren't in the relationship, but this is probably one of my favorite crazy Kayla stories because I don't have that many. But I'm a Scorpio, oh, and I have that crazy in me, though. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, what it's back there. So I was dating a guy. Okay. I was dating a guy, and he dumped me oh. through a text message. And he dumped me for this singer slash actress who was famous at the time. Uh -huh. Dumped me for her. Lied about it for months, then popped out with her. It became, like, this public thing, and it was like, oh, my God, we love them. Another, like, celebrity, iconic relationship. Uh -huh. And of course, little old me, I'm devastated, I'm heartbroken. I had just moved to New York to like be with this person and move in with them. It was a whole thing. It's not who y'all think. Yeah, was, you guys will not be able to figure this out. Or maybe they will, who cares? It doesn't matter. So he breaks up with me, dumps me, moves on. And for Halloween that year, I dressed up as her. Ah! I dressed up as that lady for Halloween. And not only Are did the I- the pictures out? They're there somewhere. They're on the internet. And it went viral. Clock that. It went viral. It was everywhere. Like really? Was, and I was like before, like, I was even anything on Instagram, which is why it was even funnier, because everybody's like, oh, my God, you look so good. And you Did he say it. something? Yeah, he called me crazy. <laughs> like, you're nuts. You're crazy. I have a question. And, and, and I'm really talking to the ladies. What was the purpose of her sharing this story? What what was the real what was the real purpose though? Like I'm a purposeful woman and I do things with purpose. I say things with purpose. I make choices and decisions due to there being a purpose behind it. There's there's not a a, de a decision that I don't make without purpose. So what what was the purpose behind it? And this is what is alarming to me because trying to create relationships with women and they don't understand how messy they are. They don't understand how messy they are. And this is why I'm very particular about the women I hang around because I'm noticing that a lot of women don't think before they talk. They don't, they don't think 10 steps ahead. Like how will this make me look? Number one, <laughs> that's where we need to start. Before you open your mouth, how will this make me look? Number one, Number two, will this in will this affect other people that I care about, or th will this affect people in a negative way? And if I know that that is not my intent, maybe I shouldn't say it. Maybe I should do it. And, and and you know what's even crazier? There are women on here like I don't understand what she said. That was so wrong. I don't understand what she said. That was so bad. And da da da. da. And it's like Kayla. If you're going through your situation with Travis Kelsey and this, this whole thing with Taylor Swift, right? And you know, Tiana Taylor is currently going through her situation 
with the public divorce and the recent situation that's going on with Amber Rose, why the hell would you sit up there and say that dumb ass shit on a podcast? Why would you do that? And you can't say she didn't know. I'm tired of women saying, well, I didn't know. I didn't know. I, I didn't know what I said. You do social media for a living. You do social media for a living. What do you mean you didn't know? You knew. You knew. You knew. And the women that are online, like, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. It's probably because you're messy. You're messy too. And that's what I'm learning. I'm like, messy women don't think before they do things. They don't, they don't actually think it all the way through and think about the impact that it will have on other people or think about how uh, the other person may respond to it. Or how the other person may perceive it or receive it. They're just out here doing. And you know who else do stuff like that? Children. Children do things without thinking it through. Children do things off of temporary emotions. And that's what scares me about women, y'all, for real. Like you, I don't care if it's a woman that is your mother, an older cousin, an, old, an older sibling a best friend that you've been friends with for 30 years. I don't care. Women who do things that don't think before they do things, that don't consider other people before they say things, that don't read a room before they say something or do something. I'm telling you, you're never safe around those type of women, ever. You, you are never safe, not emotionally, not mentally, not spiritually. Those are the type of women that will drain your energy. Those are the type of women that will emotionally manipulate you. Those are the type of women that you are that you cannot be vulnerable with. Like you, you can't. And the reason is because, well, they don't think. They, they don't think. And then in some cases, some women do think, but because they're selfish, they'll do it anyway. They'll do it anyway. And then they expect, they expect the backlash. They, they expect for people to say this or that, but they're okay with that because the temporary emotion, and I keep saying temper, temporary because a lot of the emotions that we go through on a daily basis, like when we could be angry, mad, we could be irritable, we could be sad, we could be uh, just feeling down. Those emotions are all temporary. So today, Sunday, by Wednesday, you could be having the best day of your life. So that's what I'm saying. Like women who operate from a place that is so temporary are dangerous women to be around. And those are the women that you really cannot trust. And so that's the reason why I'm very disappointed in Kayla, because you just went through your own situation and it was public and you dealt with a lot of negativity. And then now you're spewing that same energy to another woman, another black woman, right? Another black woman. And now you're wanting to do this thing like, oh, I didn't know. Like I was just speaking about things I've learned when it comes to dating. We're tired of you talking about your dating life. The internet, we don't want to hear nothing else about your dating life because every time your dating life is brought up, it goes right back to Travis Kelsey. And it's weird. And then I'm a black woman with a black platform, y'all. Blackity black. Okay? Blackity black. But it's like you embarrassing me because I was defending you against the Swifties. Against the Swifties. And now I'm start. I hate to say it, but I'm starting to see where the Swifties were coming from because it showed her true character. That's what it did. It showed. And that's the thing, ladies, is just because a woman doesn't direct a certain behavior towards you doesn't mean she's not showing you who she really is. And so Kayla came across as a mean girl. Like, let me kick this girl while she's down. She just went through this public breakup. And now it's like, I want to kick her while she's down. And I want to make I, I want to make it seem like well she really didn't win a prize because the man that she married they got a divorce already. It's like it's weird energy. So now I have to revisit 
some of the things that I was defending Kayla over. And now I'm like, you know what? Maybe the Swifties got it right. Maybe they did because I'm just, mm. and y'all, the more now I'm in a place where in my life, you will never see me defend another woman ever again. A woman can defend herself. She is capable of uh, answering to her own behaviors. We don't need to help them with that because think about it. Like if you're the type of woman where you move in purpose and you're intentional when it comes to the things that you do, the things that you say and how you carry yourself and how you behave, and then you defending a woman that doesn't operate like that, what is that? That's putting you in the position of what? What is that doing to your mental health? What is that doing to your spiritual hygiene? What is that doing when it comes to your daily life and your, and your mental health? What is that doing for you? What is that doing for you? And that's what I'm saying. Like, if you know, like, this is the type of woman you are and you're purposeful and you're intentional and you're accountable and you're aware when it comes to you doing certain things, saying certain things, behaving and showing up a certain way, I wouldn't be so quick to defend another woman. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't. I don't care if it's your mother. I wouldn't be so quick to defend another woman. I wouldn't be so quick. It could be that older cousin. Maybe at one point in your life, you looked up to her and you thought you found her to be inspirational, but you're realizing as you get older that her maturity level is not at the same level as yours. So you can't, you can't defend all women. I'm sorry. If 2024 is not teaching you anything, you cannot defend all women. And I said, um, I believe this was in a lunch break combo. I said this in a lunch break combo. I said, from this day forward, you're going to see women expose themselves because they lack accountability and they lack self-awareness. They're going, Kayla exposed herself. Because if she would have ate her food and she wouldn't have said nothing about this situation, we wouldn't know anything about her dressing up as Tiana Taylor. That's number one, because the Internet didn't even put two and two together. We didn't even know she dated that man at one point. We had no idea until it was brought up. So a lot of these women are going to expose themselves unknowingly, meaning they're not even aware because they lack the self-awareness. They don't have the self-awareness. If you don't have the self-awareness, how easy is, is it for you to expose yourself? Very easy. Because you think how you're operating, how you think and how you behave is normal. You, you, the, the women that are like this, they think that how they operate, the things that they do, the things that they say, even how they think is just, it's normal. So they're going to say something, they're going to do something, and then they're just going to expose themselves. And then people are going to be like, and then they're going to move away because you can't stand too close to certain people. That's crazy. That's why I'm like, um, I, and, and then also the, I think the weirdest thing about this Kayla situation too, is why you got so much smoke for the woman in the situation? Why don't you have, like, this is weird, y'all. Why don't you have any smoke? For the man. Like, why? And then, ladies, another thing that I want you to understand, too, because some of y'all don't know when a woman is playing in your face. See, sometimes women do micro aggressive, micro aggressive things that is highly disrespectful. So a lot of the girls are like, I don't understand what she did. What she what did she do that was so terrible? It was micro disrespect. You're taking jabs at this woman and she hasn't done anything to you. It's the man. So if you wanted to dress up, if you wanted to dress up as the man in the situation and put on a clown suit for Halloween, girl, I would have been cheering you on. That's what girls, girls, you know, real girls, girls, that's what they do. But no, she was being a mean girl and she decided to dress up as Tiana Taylor as in mockery of her marriage and her relationship. That's weird, y'all. <laughs> That's why I stay away. This is why I keep to myself, y'all, because I can't do the weird shit. 
That's weird. And then didn't Iman, didn't, wasn't he in the video? He was butt naked. So I guess she couldn't dress up as him. Well, she could have got a man suit if it, if it was that deep, Kayla. You could have got a man suit and put the put the suit on and, and wore that suit. But nah, like ladies, know when someone is being highly disrespectful, but it's a micro dose. Okay. That's what I need the girls to understand because the amount of girls that I was I, I was listening to they take and they saying, oh, it's not a big deal. I'm like, what do you mean it's not a big deal? That was a married woman at the time that Kayla decided to dress up as hers for Halloween. That's disrespectful and very, very weird. And like I said, the timing of this situation, Kayla wanting to bring it up after Tiana Taylor just went through that public divorce. It was like, let me kick her while she's down. Because like I said, a woman that is intentional and a woman that's purposeful would have thought 10 steps ahead before she opened her mouth. But messy women don't think before they speak. They just talk too damn much. That's why they're messy. That is why they're messy. So now nah, this whole thing, it, it's just, it's a no. It's the no. And then again, uh, I think I already said this, but anytime relationships are talked about any, like, think about it. Anytime Ta Kayla goes on a uh, podcast or something like that, they're always talking about dating and relationships. It is time for you to move on. Like anytime she goes on a podcast, it's like she is signing up to talk about her ex because what are they wanting to talk about? Her dating life. What are they wanting to, dis to discuss? They want to discuss, well, is she dating anyone? Who is she dating? Da, da, da. Just avoid podcasts. But that's a woman, a, a woman that understands that this is what people want her to talk about when it comes to her career. And she doesn't want to talk about it because she really does wish the new couple happy and happy life or whatever. She's going to avoid going on platforms to talk about her relationships or her past relationships or her dating life overall. But she keeps putting herself in that position to be asked those questions. And she knows better. And then not only that, uh, Angel Reese, they tend to, it seems like they're great friends. She could have said, hey, friend, a woman that's not messy. Hey, friend. You know, I don't feel comfortable talking about that. I don't feel comfortable bringing that up. Is there anything else that we can talk about or discuss? Like we could talk about mental health. We could talk about nutrition. We could talk about fitness because those are the things that I'm into. Those are the things that I promote on my platform. We could even talk about how to get into content creating and make it a full-time job. There were so many things that she could have talked about or she can talk about when it comes to her going to these platforms but she continuously talks about her ex, which is disrespectful to the current relationship that he's in. Well, I don't care how you how you want to uh, analyze that situation with uh, Kelsey and Taylor Swift. You know, I'm not the biggest Taylor fan, uh, but this is just me keeping it real. For you to keep bringing it up, it is. It's very disrespectful. I don't care how things ended with Travis Kelsey. Your situ your issue shouldn't be with Taylor Swift. It should really be with Travis Kelsey. And we still don't know why they broke up or why things ended. Uh, cheating was speculated. I don't really know. But it's like now it's two examples of you being disrespectful to the new woman that you were picked over when it came to the man that you chose to deal with and it makes you look bad as a woman. It just it just it makes you look like bitter, uh resentful, uh angry. It may it just makes you look bad. It's time for you to move on. And if people want to invite you on just to talk about your ex, that's crazy. I just feel like the whole thing is just messy, y'all. I, I don't like it. I don't like it. So let's see what was said here because I don't really remember. I don't even think I watched this year. For the and just like online chaos, does it impact me? It does. Yeah. Even to this day. Yeah. So you still experience it. Oh yeah. Yeah. You could go to my most recent post and it will be people debating each other why I 
am worthless and I'll never be a talented person and I have no career and I'm yeah. a bum and just. But what was the negativity from her fan club or her? Fan but then y'all, I'm starting to listen to the Swifties simply for the fact that, oh, she has no career, but that's all you only talk about dating and your ex. And you talk about dating because it leads back to your ex. Who is Kayla outside of Travis Kelsey? And then another thing that I want to highlight too, she talked about how she receives the negativity and the negativity is still ongoing because she was in this uh, public relationship, right? So then you should know how Tiana Taylor would feel. It just, like I said, it all around just makes her look bad. That's with Grace. I don't feel like and there has nothing you. to do with me. I don't know. I yeah. just, I think that there's something about that level of, fame that attracts crazy people and yeah. it's unfortunate because i've never done anything to warrant that kind of backlash but the reason for that if you left with grace i don't feel like there's nothing to do with me i don't know i yeah. just again she is the type of woman that's messy and then she hides she throw rocks and she hides her hand she is like i said i'll say it again she is the type of woman that is messy she's messy she throws rocks and she hides her hand and she just acts like, well, I don't know. She just acts like she's so oblivious to why she's getting so much backlash. That attracts crazy people. And yeah. it's unfortunate because I've never done anything to warrant that kind of backlash. But the reason for that, if you left with grace. I don't feel like there was nothing to do with me. I don't know. I yeah. just, I think that there's something about that level of, Fame that attracts crazy people. It's above me, y'all. It's it's <laughs> it's above me. Somebody says she need a PR. I don't. I honestly, I think Kayla needs therapy because I don't. I think her breakup with. I think her breakup has it been twelve years. Let me look. I gotta look it up because I'm like, girl. Uh, let me see. Bro, bro. Uh, girl, girl, they broke up in 2022, y'all. It's about to be 2025. It's a no. And then, how are this? Another thing, ladies, and I'm, I'm talking to the women now. How do you expect to move on? If you keep bringing up your ex, how do you expect to attract a new suitor or a prospect if you keep talking about your ex? That's crazy. I, I And I'm not saying she still can't feel things. She still can't go through things emotionally, but it doesn't have to be public two years out. That's crazy. Um, you should talk to your therapist about that, though. And I'm not saying that to be shady. I'm saying that because that's some real advice to talk about Kayla Nicole, who is trending on social media because of an interview she did with Angel Reese. Angel has a podcast called Unapologetically Angel, and she did an interview with Kayla Nicole, and Kayla talked about a lot of things. She talked about um, a little bit about her previous relationship with Travis Kelsey, but then she also talked about a different relationship where the guy broke up with her. It was an athlete or someone of stature that broke up with her, and that October for Halloween, she dressed up as the woman that he left her for. He left her for an actress slash singer. And for Halloween, she, I don't know if she was out of her mind, but she dressed up as that person. So we're going to get into that in this video. But first, if you're watching, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and everyone click the thumbs up button. Make sure y'all follow Miss Layla. She did a full breakdown on this situation. I was outside this weekend, so I didn't have time. So we're going to be reacting to Miss Layla's breakdown. Okay, let's get back to it. Please go to her video. Give her video a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. All right, you guys, so shout out to the Neighborhood Talk. The Neighborhood Talk posted this clip of Kayla talking to Angel Reese about the situation. Craziest thing you've done in a relationship? This is one of my, we weren't in the relationship, but this is probably one of my favorite crazy Kayla stories because I don't have that many. But I'm a Scorpio and I have that crazy in me though. You know what I mean? Like it's exactly. So I was dating a guy. Okay. I was dating a guy and actress who was famous at the time. Uh -huh. and I dressed up as her. Ah! I dressed up as a lady. <laughs> 
on Google trying to search because I saw in the comments people were saying it was Tiana Taylor that Kayla Nicole used to date Iman Schumpert. And the next thing I know, Neighborhood Talk actually posted the pictures. These are the pictures of Kayla Nicole dressed as Tiana Taylor from the Kanye West video looks good. But I did do some research and I did see a connection. I didn't see any photos of him and Kayla Nicole together, but I did see one time on his Twitter, he did mention her. He said, at I am Kayla Nicole, flashback that Friday, hashtag Cabo, and it linked to her Instagram, but the picture has been deleted. And this was on December 6, 2013. So apparently at this point in time, 2013, 2012, she had moved to New York to be with him. Imagine moving to be with the man, like you're going to live with the man. And then he texts you, dumping you. And he shows up on the red carpet with Tiana Taylor. It drove her crazy. Like it literally drove her crazy to the point where <laughs> she dressed up as Tiana Taylor for Halloween. All right, guys. So since this started going viral, Tiana Taylor actually responded. Both Tiana and Kayla actually responded. First, Tiana posted the breakdown. Remember when Left Eye from TLC did that breakdown about let's do the math? And so she posted a video of that in her stories with a bunch of emojis, like crying face emojis, the laughing emojis. And it sounds like she was hitting at the, the timeline, not adding up. That's what it sounds like. And then she went and posted like all of the projects she's working on next year. She posted that on her main page. And I think she might have been triggered because Kayla said that at the time this person was famous, like at the time, as if she's not famous now. So it seemed like she was in her feelings. So she posted her upcoming projects and she said i know 2025 gonna hate to see a taylor coming now that's kind of calling herself you know tiana taylor but then you also have taylor swift <laughs> she's aligning herself with the swifties so she posted on the shade room it's really crazy oh that's crazy <laughs> yeah Liz, kayla asked for it i'm sorry she did she asked for it she got what she was looking for that everyone is allowed to bother me and be distasteful everybody gets to play while i move with grace always but now I'm going to have a little Sagittarius fun too. And it's a problem. F the Iman part. I'm divorced and happily so. However, her choice of words were very distasteful and uncalled for. She knew exactly what she was doing. That lady said, quote, she was famous at the time. Also said, quote, I don't care who see it. It was very distasteful and uncalled for. Most importantly, it she knew weird. people would dig. So automatically, my name is attached to the nonsense. At that point, she didn't need to at me. That was clearly a quick search. My name was trending without an at before even saying a word. That's how I seen it. LOL. On top of the fact that the math wasn't mathing and the facts weren't facting. <laughs> However, the level of cringe factor was. LOL. I'm finding out just like the world that her intentions were ill and petty. She pulled the black card when it came to Taylor Swift, but in the same circle, turned around and tried to bully the black woman that was married to her situationship. And she claimed dumped her for me. Dressing up like me or what? crazy part about it all is I actually showed love under her pic when she posted it like I did the other 373 billion people that dressed up as me for Halloween whole time I ain't even know she was being shady now I do so in that case petty panties on I had my little fun I said what I said and now I'm done and headed back to set and that's on period because Tiana Taylor she don't let nobody play in her face like that that's why I was shocked to see so many women defend Kayla I'm like so you allow micro disrespect in your relations with women because i don't i don't i don't care how tiny it is it's disrespectful disrespect is disrespect it doesn't it, it and that's the thing they dish it in a micro type of way it's like it's like it's an it's it's the undertone that's disrespectful i don't let that type of stuff slide so no i felt like tiana taylor she stood on business as she should you don't allow nobody to play in your face like that this girl been on tv since I used to watch her on Sweet 16. Have we forgot? Have we forgot? Have we forgot? Tiana Taylor was on Sweet 16 MTV. Okay. That was so disrespectful. I grew up watching Tiana Taylor. That's crazy. <laughs> so y'all leave a comment let me know what you think about Tiana's response Kayla did respond on Twitter she said I share a sliver of my truth for once and here y'all come with the group chat think pieces she said I will continue to speak on my life experiences we don't need we we and that's y'all I'm so sick of women that do this shit I'm I'm tired of them okay she knew she was being messy and 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 this is and this is I get it like you know I used to get upset because I say real talk with Yanni and people think that means I'm trying to keep it real. Like, no, it's me keeping it real with myself. Okay. I have nothing to prove to you. It's me keeping it real with me. Okay. Conversations that I have with myself. And it seems like some of you girls need to be weirdo, but not in the weirdo of messy. You need to be weird in the way of you check in with yourself to make sure you good. You all right. Or are you taking this out on another woman? Are you good? You all right? Or are you just upset with how things turned out instead of projecting on the next woman? 
am I insecure? Am I good or am I insecure? Because I'm insecure in this area when it comes to me looking at this other woman. Some of y'all need to be weird in the sense of talking to yourself to ensure that you're good before you open up your mouth and you say something that you cannot take back and it makes you look crazy. That's not like sharing your truth is good. But like, again, when people share their truth, it's with purpose. When I come on here and I share my truth, the purpose isn't to be messy. The purpose is to be vulnerable, to share my story so that other girls can either learn through me or feel empowered to share their stories. Some of you girls come on here and it doesn't matter if it's a dating story or it's your baby daddy or it's, it just makes you look a mess. And somebody needs to tell you that. Your, uh, slip, your silver of truth it makes you look like you're a mean girl. Your sliver of truth makes you sound like you was a doormat and you let this man come into your life and create a train wreck. That like, so that's what I'm saying. Make sure before you decide to share your truth, how does it make you look? <laughs>